Have you ever met someone who seemed absolutely perfect, the kind of man who sweeps you off your feet, plans your future together within weeks, and makes you feel like you finally found the one? You always wanted someone who puts in the effort, right? But something feels off. Ladies, don't neglect your gut feelings. You're getting some important information here. Let's bring this up to our consciousness so you can be aware and make informed decisions in your love life. Today, I'm revealing five subtle red flags of love bombing that most women miss until it's too late. And stick around until the end because red flag number five is the most shocking. It's the one that's most often mistaken for true love. What I'm about to share has helped hundreds of my clients avoid heartbreak and find genuine lasting love instead. Before we dive in, let me quickly explain what love bombing actually is. It's not just someone being enthusiastic about you. It's an intense form of manipulation that uses overwhelming attention and affection to cloud your judgment. As a relationship therapist and consultant with over 20 years of experience, I've seen how devastating love bombing can be. One of my clients, let's call her Sarah for privacy purposes, thought she'd found her soulmate until he suddenly disappeared three months in, leaving her confused and heartbroken. She's by no means the only one. I hear this from so many women. Today, you'll learn exactly how to spot love bombing before it breaks your heart, and more importantly, how to attract men who are capable of genuine connection. Here are the five red flags you should look for. The first hidden red flag is future faking with zero foundation. Picture this, you've been dating for two weeks and he's already planning your wedding, talking about baby names and describing the house you'll buy together. Sounds romantic, right? Here's the truth, when a man talks about a future without taking real steps in the present, it's often a red flag. Why is this dangerous? because it creates a false sense of security while bypassing the crucial foundation, building phase of your relationship. Here is how to spot it. He makes grand future promises within the first few weeks. You really don't know each other. One thing is to say I want these things with someone and the other is to say I want it with you. It takes a little time to feel comfortable to know that you want to spend the rest of your life with someone. Also, there is no concrete action behind his words. Although he talks about big plans, you simply don't feel connected to him. It's because there is no substance behind his words. He rushes past getting to know the real you. You know when you tell him you are a vegetarian and he takes you to a steakhouse for dinner. He basically doesn't really show deep interest in you. You may feel disregarded and dismissed. What should you do when you meet someone like this? Apply breaks a bit by setting boundaries and you will see how he reacts. Next time he starts planning your future together, you can say something like, that sounds wonderful. I too am looking for full commitment, but for now, I'd love to focus on getting to know each other deeply in the present. This is great because you're in the position of setting the parameters of what goes and what doesn't go in your life. It allows him to get to know you and make a decision if you are right for him. Let me tell you a secret. Quality men feel secure to fall in love with a woman who has standards. Doing this will also allow you to get to know him and learn how he reacts to boundaries. By the way, if you are finding this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe. It helps more women find this important information. The second red flag is intensity without intimacy. This one is tricky because it feels so good at first. He's texting constantly, wanting to spend every free moment together and sharing deep secrets right away. But here is the crucial difference between genuine connection and love bombing. Real intimacy builds gradually while love bombing forces instant closeness. It's like all of a sudden you find yourself as an actress in a play. It feels like you are just playing a role. There is no solid feeling of reality and connection with him. Here is how to know there is too high intensity before it's due. In other words, you don't know each other, but he's performing. There will be constant texting that feels overwhelming, but you still continue indulging it because you don't want to miss out on a potentially good guy. Let me tell you, a good guy would react positively to your boundaries. Men feel safe to fall in love with you when you set good boundaries. 
The second thing we see is pushing for deep conversations before trust is built. Remember, you don't have to share anything you don't want to. Take your time. Allow him to get to know you gradually. Let him wish for more. The third thing that we see is he's making you feel guilty for needing space. He tells you something like you are ruining something good. Again, if he's your man, he will respect your pace. Remember this, quality men understand that real connection takes time to develop. Pause the video and drop some love in the comments if you experience this kind of overwhelming intensity. Let's support each other. The third red flag is what I call the pedestal effect. One of my clients came to me confused. Her new boyfriend kept telling her she was perfect, not like other women, and everything he's ever dreamed of. Sounds amazing, right? Wrong. Here is why this is actually dangerous. Nobody is perfect and putting someone on a pedestal means they will eventually fall off. It shows he's not really seeing the real you, just his idealized version. Often men who idealize quickly are the same ones who devalue just as fast. So stay grounded in reality. You are not perfect, but you are great for one lucky guy who is willing to get to know you with all you come with. Real love isn't about being perfect. It's about being accepted for who you really are, flaws and all. Here is what healthy admiration looks like. He provides safe space for you to be yourself and adores you even when he knows all your shadow parts too. That means he can see your insecurities, biases, and he doesn't expect you to be constantly made up. You can be comfortable and natural. Now, let's talk about the fourth red flag. The rush to exclusivity. Oh boy, so many women struggle with this, not realizing how important this is if you want to meet someone real. Picture this scenario. You've been dating for a week and he's already pushing to be exclusive, wanting you to delete your dating apps and getting uncomfortable when you mention other plans. A lot of women yield to this, but if you are looking for a real committed relationship with a quality man, you need to take your time and date more people. Here's why exclusivity too soon is problematic. It cuts off your options before you've had time to properly evaluate him. It can be a control tactic disguised as enthusiasm. It often stems from insecurity, not genuine connection. Most importantly, it causes you to attach too quickly. That's when you don't get to evaluate him, but instead you wind up over-functioning trying to make the relationship work. That's when you lose your power. What should you do instead? Look for a man who is confident enough to let you make your decision. A real confident man will not want to manipulate you. He wants to be loved naturally just because he is who he is, not because he rushed you into something. And now the most deceptive red flag of all, the mirror technique. This is when he seems to have everything in common with you. Same values, same dreams, same wounds, same future goals. Sounds perfect, right? But here's the shocking truth. If everything is aligned so perfectly too soon, it's probably manipulation rather than genuine similarities. How do we distinguish these two? Genuine alignment reveals itself naturally over time, while manipulative mirroring happens too quickly and too perfectly. Real connections show both similarities and differences, while mirroring shows only similarities and perfect alignment. Authentic people have their own distinct personality traits and mirror becomes whatever you want them to be or whatever suits them for the purpose of manipulation. Think of it like this. If someone seems to be the perfect reflection of everything you are and want, they're probably showing you what you want to see rather than who they really are. The most dangerous part, this technique works because we all want to be deeply understood. Now that you can spot these red flags, let's talk about how to protect yourself while staying open to love. Here are three powerful strategies. The pacing technique. This is about consciously slowing things down when they feel too intense. Instead of getting swept away, create intentional space. Maintain your regular routines and friendships. Keep dates to one, two times per week initially. Don't text 24-7 just because he wants to. Take time to process your feelings between interactions. Remember, quality men respect your boundaries and appreciate a woman who values her time. The authenticity test. This is how you check if his actions match his words. Notice how he responds when you are not perfect. Express a different opinion and watch his reaction. 
shares something slightly vulnerable and see how he responds. Pay attention to how he treats others, not just you. Real connection welcomes your authentic self, not just your highlight reel. The reality check method. This is your practical assessment tool. Share your experiences with trusted friends. Keep a dating journal to track patterns and red flags. Ask yourself, would I want my best friend in this situation? Check if the relationship is developing in reality or just in promises. Consider if you feel more anxious or more secure as time goes on. Here is the key. These strategies aren't about being cynical. They're about being smart while staying open to love. Think of them as your emotional safety belt. You still get in the car and go on to the journey, but you're protected. But most importantly, remember this. You don't have to choose between being loved and being careful. If you're ready to stop falling for love bombing and start attracting genuine lasting love, I've created something special for you. Join my free masterclass, Meet the One. You will get the exact framework for spotting genuine connection, how to attract men who are capable of real intimacy, the communication secrets that make quality men pursue you, and much more. Click the link in the description to register now. Spots are limited and this training won't be available forever. Now I'd love to hear from you. Which of these red flags surprised you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's support each other in creating genuine, lasting love. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more relationship wisdom that actually works. Remember, you deserve a love that's both exciting and genuine. See you in the next video.